some of the largest and longest living organisms on the planet are large old trees. And there have been records of trees in excess of 100 metres tall. So these magnificent trees are a really key part of these mountain ash systems. They're what we call keystone structures. And they're really important in these forests for a number of reasons. First of all, they're habitat for more than 40 species of native vertebrates, including critically endangered animals like Leadbeater's possum and rapidly declining species like the greater glider. There's a whole raft of other bird species and countless species of, of invertebrates that are associated very closely with these trees. What we do know also is that they're very important for storing large amounts of carbon and for playing key roles in nutrient cycles. Populations of these big trees are in rapid decline. The numbers of big trees in this system has halved since 1997 and by 2035 they'll be one seventh of what they were in 1997. So these key resources are absolutely essential to maintain populations of hollow dependent animals and to maintain key ecosystem processes. We need to protect every single one of these large old trees and the only way that we've found that is sensible to do that is to build buffers of unlogged forest of about 200 metres around each of these trees to protect them from edge effects, changes in microclimate, the impacts of logging in nearby areas and better protect them from fire and other problems. These forests cannot persist without having good populations of large old trees.